what is going on thanks for coming back on this texas all water fishing i have been asked to come out and check out something that is pretty cool pretty awesome i've been invited by my friends at sea star base galveston now if you're not familiar with sea star base galveston they offer all kind of great activities for the community for kids sailing fishing sea star base galveston also has a great facility to host events and today i'm invited to come out and check out for texas park and wildlife i'm invited to come out and check out some release of some fingerlings now this is going to be thousands and thousands of fingerling speckled trout that are going going to be released and it's going to be pretty cool stuff i have seen some i have witnessed some releasing of flounder before in the past just kind of happened to be coming on the, back to the landing and there was a texas park and wildlife releasing that when i got back from being on the water and i was able to check that out um we do more with our, our red drum and trout mm -hmm. we, we work with palacious a lot and we kind of meet in the middle but this was kind of a special these are southern flounder so this was kind of a they're tiny a different yes they are very <laughs> tiny oh my god that's too cool <laughs> Yep, today, this morning, I'm going to go out there and I am going to check out the releasing of these fingerlings. Now, it is so cool that Texan Park and Wildlife does this. I know they do this all up and down the coast from Sabine all the way down to South Padre. I know they're releasing all these fish. And hopefully, I'll be able to, I'll be able to talk to Texas Park and Wildlife officials who are releasing them and also at Sea Star Base. There's a few cool things going on today, this week. They have their normal summer camp. So I'll probably be walking around with Captain Cody Dunn, talking to different people, hopefully mixing it up with the kids a little bit. But also they have Coastal Brigades are there this week. If you're not familiar with Coastal Brigade, Texas Brigade, I will leave the description and links for everything in the description sec section of this video so hopefully i'll be able to go talk to some of those guys and see what they're doing at the base today or this week but thanks for coming back don't forget to like comment subscribe share i'm gonna get my gear together i'm gonna throw it all together real fast and then we're gonna get on the road and we're gonna head to galveston So you said we got like about 200,000 give or take? Yeah, give or take. So uh, approximately 100 pounds were loaded. Uh, so right now there's a couple of uh, co-workers and they took samples while they were harvesting. And so they're measuring them for length and weight. And they're going to use that to uh, come up with the number of fish per pound. Okay. And they were weighed onto the trailer. Okay. And so we'll have a very good, before I even leave out of here today, I'll have a very good idea of what we stocked. I'm looking at their size. They look between 1,700 and 2,000 per pound. So that would put us at around the 200,000 okay. mark. And out of these that we released out of that, do you know the ratio that maybe well, they'll survive? The well, we do or? know with red drum that it can be as high as 20% that oh, okay. make it to uh, the slot limit. Uh, we think that the trout are very similar. It varies by base system, of course, but uh, we certainly know that the recruitment's going to be higher on these than what's being done naturally out of the base. We're, we're releasing a larger fish that's not as susceptible to predation. Okay. Awesome. And then you're, this 
This hatchery comes from... This is from Sea Center, Texas in Lake Jackson. Lake Jackson. So these are Galveston uh, trout. And what I mean by that is we're very sensitive to not altering what is going on in nature. There are slight genetic differences between the base systems. Saline is almost always fresh. Lower Laguna Madre is extremely salty. So we make sure we only release fingerlings that come from broodstock collected from those base systems. So these are Galveston trout. These uh, broodstock were collected probably not too far from here. Oh, okay. I, uh, when they're young fish, trout and red drum, it's a rule of thumb on average about a inch a month until they start to reach maturity and they slow down. So trout will begin to spawn after one year. And by two years, you know, 100% of them will be spawning. So that's, you know, a 12-inch fish. There's some 12-inch fish that will begin to spawn. But by the time they're getting up there, you know, into our slot limit, they're all spawners at that point. How many times do I do this a year, like the, the trout? Sea, or... sea center stocks as much as we can get out the door, particularly yeah. now in response to the, to the freeze. So, um, you know, we, we do anywhere from 10 to 16 million fingerlings a year. Wow. And of that trout, it can be anywhere from a million to 10 million, just depending on how we are with our red room quota and how many ponds we have available and how well our brood stock is responding. Wow, that's, oh, that's crazy. That's a crazy number. But I'll tell you this, that we are approaching our 800 millionth red drum, and we're well over 100 million trout. So in my career, wow. I'll see the 1 billion fish released. That's in Jonathan's career, yeah. we'll, we'll all see it. And we're certainly getting close. So what's going on today? Hey man, we're here at Coastal Brigade 2021. This is our fifth time having Coastal Brigade here in Galveston. We love Galveston. We love Sea Star Base. We're out here on Off It's Bayou. We got all the kids out on the Parks and Wildlife boats today. We got four Parks and Wildlife boats from Coastal Fisheries and we're getting the kids out first-hand experience. Taking them out, doing shrimp trawls, showing them how an oyster dredge works, how a gill net works. Um, we're going to be doing bag scenes later in the week down at Galveston Island State Park. But the whole point of this camp is getting the kids hands-on experience so they can understand it, remember remember how to do it, um, and why we're big on conservation and fisheries management and stuff like that. Yeah, so we get out and get hands-on. We've already caught redfish, speckled trout, um, some black drum, sheep's head, all kinds of cool stuff for them to see. If people want to find out more how they can get their kids involved with Texas Brigades, November 1st, applications go live for the following year, and that runs through March 15th. You can go to texasbrigades.org to find out more information and get signed up for the newsletter. Stay in touch with us. We'll let you know when the applications go live. Um, it is a competitive thing to get in, so these kids all write essays and fill out stuff, what they do, extracurricular activities, things like that, to, and then we grade those at each camp and select the kids from that. And there's also tons of opportunities for them to serve their community and earn college scholarship money to come back serving a leadership role after they've attended a camp as well. That's cool. It's an ongoing process. Oh, you just caught it? That's caught him on a fish head. Ooh, <laughs> really? That's yeah, nice pinfish one. head. <laughs> you, haven't measured, you haven't measured it yet? How big is it? 15 and a half. 15 and a half? Awesome. Yeah. This, is, this is the famous guy right here. Not really. <laughs> yeah. That's the famous guy on that billboard back there. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to get in there with you, though. Always hold it out. Never hold it up close to you. There you <laughs> go. You got to learn. She looks bigger. No. Yeah, the lady speckle drop. Or what? Yeah. Because he kissed her face. He likes freckles. No, yeah, no. Hey. Was, yeah. He caught a fish that big? That big. Look at the fish. Did you? What'd you catch? Sand trout. Sand trout? That's nice. I have a 
We haven't caught nothing today? Huh? Nothing today? He caught a, uh, well, I did catch four catfish yesterday. Okay, there you go. Sebastian. But I can feel some biting back there. Yeah. I feel like they don't want to hook up. Yeah. Oh, uh, Sebastian over there caught a hard head like that big. Big one? Oh, that's a big one. I caught a catfish. It was like this. Did you? It was like this big. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty big. That's My awesome. Dad would help it was a little fish. Hey. Absolutely. Hi everybody, I'm Chef Pat. I'm with Southern Elegance Catering and we were thrilled to be a part of the SSBG team here. This is our third summer to be here with the campers. We have been very blessed through our career. We have fed presidential candidates, senators, congressmen, country music hall of fame artists, but the most fun we have ever had is being right here with the events happening at SSBG. We cook everything fresh on a daily basis we make sure you guys get fresh food, healthy food, clean food, as clean as we can make it. Because every once in a while, you still got to have tacos because they're just too good not to let, you know, get away from you. But we would love to work with you guys and make something special. So when you come here for your experience, that we have a great experience for you guys, both out on the water and when you're upstairs in the commissary. Those are nice ones. Yeah. All right, so what do you like? What do you like better, saline or fishing? Fishing. Fishing. Oh. Yeah, right here. Fishing. I like the sand. Hey, fishing's better. Fishing better. Yeah. Sailing's better. They're sailing's better. They're both the same. They both the same to you. You I like them both. Sailing and then fishing off the sailboat. There you go. That's fun. Sailing's yeah. Sailing's better. Way better. Cool, huh? Yeah. Alright, guys. After you look at. That's it. There you go. I like this guy. Everybody, so that's going to do it for me today. You know, I had a ton of fun out there. I love doing stuff like this. I love being able to go out and mix it up with the kids at Sea Star Base. It's always just a good time. And whenever you meet these people who are volunteering or help running one of these nonprofits it's just really really great uplifts you your spirits just to be around great people if you are interested in checking out sea star base or texas brigade coastal brigades we had fishing future was out there my buddy michael was out there with fishing future texas park and wildlife can't say enough great things about them releasing all those little beautiful wonderful little speckled trout just brings really just warms my heart to know that we have plans and organizations and texas park has those kind those type of departments in place where we can help the next generation of anglers to assure them that we have a healthy fishery so like i said if you're interested in any of these groups i talked about look in the description section of this video i will leave their links all below and if you simply just want to make a donation i know all of these sites have a donation button where you can donate today but thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share and hopefully next time you catch me hooking up